I'm heading back in to talk to Carter and her kids. Last time I was here, I was dealing with a mom at the end of her rope, two cats who were at war, and kids who were also at war. The last time I was here, I left these guys with an ultimatum. Either I saw some significant progress or Scout was gonna get rehomed. I wanna make sure that I'm walking into a cat who's not living in the kitchen cabinets on the counter and pooping on that counter either. It's not right for the cat and it's not right for the humans. How are we? Good, how are you? I'm good. Well, you guys seem a lot cheerier than the last time I was here. <laughs> I hope that that's sort of a sign of things to come. And there's a cat going up. On, look at that stuff, man. Oh, whoa! Wow. <laughs> whoa! The fact that these guys are doing their catification homework gives me hope. Good work, guys. Um, is that sort of an indicator of what you've been up to? You've been doing some work? Caramel has been with her at night. Scout is not stuck in the kitchen, so it's been a little bit less of a cleanup for me. The kids have been better about, at least the girls have been better about stepping up and feeding the cats on a more regular basis. I'm sorry. I'm sitting here <laughs> and, and your cat is going in the litter box that's still on the counter. The counter. I mean, I'm hearing good things from the family, but I'm seeing a cat poop on the counter. So obviously the family's saying one thing, I'm seeing evidence of another thing. Now it's time to get to the homework and find out where the truth is. We got a toy right there, but her eyeballs are on the four-legged toy right over there. The cat is still more interesting than the toy. That's a problem. Scout, play equals confidence. Caramel, play equals energy that comes down. Neither one of the cats is really taken to it right now, so that's a huge problem for me. I'm gonna let Carter leave for a little bit. This is Cat Play 101. These girls have got to learn how to get this energy out of their cats, and it's by investing into the play. Show me what you got in terms of getting Scout totally into that toy, getting her engaged. Go for it, let me see what you got. Oh boy, okay. What Molly's doing right now is taking a toy and waving it in the air. I see it all the time. I wanna see her be the bird, be the snake. Act as if your life depends on it because if the cat catches you, you're dead. See if you can attract her just with the feather. You have to be engaged the entire time. Oh, that took three seconds. There you go, keep moving, keep moving. What the twins are doing now, finally getting Scout's motor properly going with play, all is a part of transforming her into a truly confident cat, a cat that Caramel wouldn't dare to treat as a target. See, now she's crouched just like she would outside, right? Yeah. She's hunting right now. Now that Scout's hitting on all cylinders up on the shelves, I wanna see if she can transfer that energy and play on the floor with Caramel roaming around at the same time. Now, it may be too far too fast, but I just wanna see what happens since I'm here to help keep the peace. Come on, you. Good girl. It's not long before Scout literally turns tail away from Caramel, but it was worth a try. And Scout made a lot of progress today. She's just not ready to swim with the sharks just yet. Now I need to see how mom's been handling the situation. Why do we have this on top of the fridge? I just have this fear that Scout's gonna get hungry and be trapped. This holds so much weight right now. It is you sort of shying away from challenging. Yeah. It's keeping Scout here. But this is your final frontier. This goes away today. The fact that I'm removing all of these sources of comfort for the cats in this home is really challenging to Carter. I mean, Carter's all about comfort. She doesn't like to challenge and I'm seeing the same dynamic play out with her kids. She doesn't want to challenge them. While we were sitting at the table with the kids, I'm raking your kids over the coals about the poop that was sitting in there while they had a sink full of stuff. Right. And what did you do? Well, I was going to defend Molly. You weren't going to, you were. Well, yeah. I think that we're ready to move it. When moving a litter box, you want to pick a location that is first and foremost convenient and accessible to the cat with plenty of escape routes. Then you can start thinking about your own aesthetic needs. The spot that Carter has picked seems perfectly sensible to me. And she won't have to cook next to cat litter anymore. So I'm heading in to meet up with Carter and her kids and Scout for one last meeting. And I left here the last time. Stop, Maddie! It's absolute chaos. And they didn't follow through on the work. I might have to rehome one of their cats. It's about the family's energy. If they change, the cats are gonna change. That simple. Last time I was here, I'm trying to talk to you guys, and in the meantime, there was a cat crapping in the corner. <laughs> the last time, right? And this time, I walk in here, and there's dishes, <laughs> clean dishes. 
<laughs> not pooped on or peed on dishes. That was the finger cross last time I was here. Yeah. Was was somebody gonna poop on the counter? No. Oh, poo. I know. You got a kitchen. <laughs> you got a kitchen. What happened? I was doing everything, and I was bitter. Now. You know, I come home and the cats have been fed their middle of the day meal. Cool. Um, Maddie has been taking care of Caramel, making sure she's locked up at night, making sure her kitty litter is clean upstairs. Sweet. The kids have stepped up. They're doing the work. Oh, this is great. They're acting as co-parents to these animals. The kids seem to be fighting less. They seem to know what their jobs are. I feel like I'm less angry and less bitter. Based on what I'm hearing, the family's progress is heartwarming. But I gotta be able to see Scout take this space, walk the floor, face down her tormentor, Caramel, and show her that she's the new confident Scout that will not be bullied and is ready to demonstrate that this is her territory too. Come with me, I want you to go on the couch and I'm gonna show you what Scout is capable of. This is it, the final frontier for Scout. Now, can she just walk by Caramel even though she's lurking on the stairs? Can she finally take ownership of this place and prove to her bully once and for all that she lives in this house too? Come on, Scout. Don't worry about Caramel. Good girl! <laughs> and Scout does it. She crosses that final challenge line with flying colors. And at any time, Caramel could have swooped down from those stairs and attacked Scout, but she didn't. Why? Because Scout is no longer acting like prey. This was a cat who was so scared of her own shadow that she was living in the cabinets, and now she's just waltzing by her former bully with ease. That, my friends, is the power of Cat Mojo. Great stuff.